Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. I'm on my way now. I'm going to be putting the bagger on the mower. So the first thing I have to do is open up the box and find the directions. Now occasionally I have found that directions are easily accessible right here on the outside of the box. Not in this case. It does talk about the features and the parts and the pieces and gives you an idea of how it's supposed to look when it's done but nothing about how to put it on. You know when you buy your kid something for Christmas and they want to play with the box? Getting a sheet of cardboard like this is kind of a windfall because I use those pieces of cardboard for all kinds of things. Okay, take this out. I've got to say one thing, the chute on this bagger is huge. Lots of airflow. And there's the operator manual, right out where I can find it easily. And a supplement sheet, because Lord knows we gotta have a supplement sheet because they don't put everything in the operator's manual. The first thing I'm supposed to do is check to make sure what my model number is. And the model number is underneath the, the seat. Now it may not seem necessary at this point, but later on when you're trying to buy parts for this thing and maybe this label has gotten obscured or you don't happen to be standing right next to it when you're trying to order the thing, if you have this written down, then the numbers are gonna be readily apparent for you. 13A877 BS-066.
Now the spring clips in place, one over there and one over there. The bracket is ready to have the clevis pin installed. I'm ready to install this clevis pin by sliding it up through the hitch mount and installing the hairpin clip. Like so. There. Now we have the clevis pin going through the hitch. We have the small clevis pin over on the side over there. And the other small clevis pin over here. So the bracket is semi solid. Tighten up that bolt. Make sure all these other bolts are tight. There. Well, we got the bracketry on. That's kind of a pain in the butt. Seems to be fairly solid. I still would like to have this tightened down better. I don't like having that rattling back and forth on that pin. That's going to wear. And I think if I want to tow anything with this tractor, which I do, I'm going to need to tow the lawn roller and tow other things. I'm going to need to come up with a hitch like I did on the Craftsman. It's going to have to come off of that hole there and bolt up to these bracket holes up here. Bolt up to these holes. This one and this one. And then come down through and pick up that clevis pin hole. I won't use a clevis pin on it. I'll just put a bolt through it. Because bolts can be tightened up. These clevis pins are always going to rattle. Now the bagger bracket slips on like that. That's fairly simple. No attachment points. No hangers. No. Just says, mount it. I re assemble the remaining bagger components. Okay, this thing is kind of tricky. You have to slip. With this angled out like that, you have to slide that onto the tube and get it past this little mount hole. Then, you can slide it over and clip on this last piece, like so. This bracket slides over the outside of that. If not already installed, install seals. Let's see if the seals are on this thing. Yes, they're on there. Okay, that's good. Next, from the front of the assembly, line up the tabs and the upper grass catcher cover with the tabs in the front of the upper chute support. Slide the hinge pin through. Sliding this pin through is not easy. It has to go through all the way through that one and into this one and then start going down the other way. So I'm going to have to shove on this pin. You won't get to see it. But you won't get to see it, but I'm going to have to shove pretty hard. So I have to drive this all the way through all these slots. And that is just not easy.
and the rest of the way by hitting on the end of the screwdriver with my hand. Probably could have used a hammer or a mallet. Probably would have been better for my hand. But I had my hand there and a screwdriver, so I did it. Okay, so that's this part. That is all on and in place. That latches down by pushing over. I think that's a two-handed operation. Same thing over here. Push that down. Then that comes over and captures it. Keeps that lid from popping up. There's additional pieces of paper all over the place. Supplement sheet. It says to mount the double bagger attachment with two bolts instead of just the one. So putting the one bolt in there was okay, but it's really designed to have two. And that would get rid of some of this shimmy and shake that we've got going on there. So I guess I'll loosen that bolt back up and take it out and reposition it. Might as well do it now. All nice and secure with two bolts now. Does get rid of some more of the shake. Would have been nice to just repent the manual instead of having all these additional addendums. I have this little prong attached. The prong goes into a hole there in the wheel bracket. But before I do that, I want to pull this little piece off there. Now, since I got to have two hands for this operation and I don't have a tripod for the camera, I'm going to try and show it to you, but if it doesn't work, we're going to have to just turn off the camera and do it the hard way. Now I'm going to attach the upper chute tube. This thing. Kink in there, nothing serious. This gets threaded into there. And I take it that these acts as thread on the inside. So we're going to turn you off for a sec and I'll come back and show you what. Doesn't look like it initially, but this tube is the left hand thread spring of the tube is wound going that way so to get it to go in you run it backwards interesting okay then this tube gets compressed and stuffed over that chute it's gonna be interesting not so bad. You just compress it a little bit, slide it over the tube, it slides down, there you go. So, all that's left now is to put the bags on and close the lid. One bag, and the other bag. Well, looks good. Don't know how it works, but it looks good. Now to get it out of the garage, I gotta move the shelf, camera, boxes, and my truck.
This video is not to be viewed by anyone under the age of 13 in the U.S. or 16 in the European Union without the express written permission of the parents or legal guardians of the underage person. Such written permission must be on file at the local government entity in charge of enforcing the rules and regulations established by the FTC. Anyone violating these terms is admitting by default that they hold harmless the owners and operators of this channel. Any and all questions should be addressed to your local branch of the FTC.